Mm, welcome to this new video. We are going to see how to create the proximity condition together. The proximity condition, as its name says, is about the proximity between two interactive objects. We will detect if an interactive object is close enough to another, and if yes, the condition will be validated. For this example, we will use a bucket of water and a small cactus. And what we'll do is that when the bucket of water is close enough to the cactus, the cactus will grow in size. So, so first let's head over the hierarchy and let's look for the bucket. I'm gonna scroll a bit up and I'm gonna look for the bucket interactive object. I'm gonna select it. I'm gonna open the little arrow and I'm gonna click on the interactions. Then I'm gonna open also the little arrow again and then I'm gonna select the proximity condition. If I scroll a bit in the inspector tab, uh, I can see that there is already the action, which is a scale behavior. So basically uh, we will apply a scale factor to the cactus interactive object, so a scale factor of five. So we multiply by five its size on the free axis basically. So we just need to add the condition to make that work. So I'm gonna click on add condition and I'm gonna look for the proximity one. I'm going to select it and then let's scroll a bit more. So there's here the proximity condition. So there are a few things we need to check. So the first thing is the proximity mode. In our case, we let uh, on enter because you want the condition to be valid when we uh, enter basically the, the collider of the other object. When we want, we enter the water bucket close to the cactus kind of. Maximum distance, uh, I recommend you to put more because this would need to be like very, very close from each other. So I'm going to put um, maybe 1.5 meter. There's a little information saying distance is calculated from the center of the proximity uh, collider or object. Or you could decide to check the distance between the edge instead. I'm not going to check this time, but let me quickly explain to you. So if I zoom a bit in and I select the bucket, you can see these like, you know, rectangle, green rectangles. Uh, one is the proximity rectangle that it's what we use basically to detect if we are close enough to the cactus. So the cactus has also another rectangle like that. By default, we pick the center of this rectangle in 3D. So it would be kind of in the middle of the bucket. That's why I put two meters. So between the middle of the bucket and the middle of the cactus, then we have some, um, let's say margin error. We have a bit of, um, there's a room, you know, to, to, for errors if there is a too big or too short distance. If we, we check the other option, which is from the edge of the colliders, it would be starting from here and the same for the cactus. So we could put a smaller distance in the parameter. But to make it simple, I keep the center of the proxy of the bucket interactive object. So let's go back to the interaction. And so, yeah, you see distance calculated from the center of the proximity. It's not finished, but proximity green collider. Uh, okay, so we have the distance and then we have to define the object. So there's the bucket itself, but we need to add the cactus. So I'm gonna press plus. And then here for the moment it's none. So I have to drag the, the cactus reference kind of. So I'm gonna go back to the hierarchy and look for the cactus. I'm gonna scroll a bit. I'm gonna scroll a bit more. And here it is with the cactus fin interactive object. So I'm going to select it, keep on pressing, and I'm going to drag it here and I'm going to release the button of the mouse. Okay. So now we have our two objects. Uh, we, it should work. So let's just go into VR and see if it works. Okay. So we are now back in VR. We can see the bucket over there and the cactus here. I'm going to get closer. I'm gonna grab that bucket of water. You know, I have it now. I'm gonna try to pour water on the cactus to see if it works. So let's go. Wow. <laughs> Here we go, congratulations. You just made the proximity condition work. I hope you enjoyed. Um, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.